Good morning, folks. It is raining in the desert. Again, hopefully the pitter-patter of raindrops on the top of the mobile observatory won't be too distracting. As we mentioned yesterday, the incoming plasma filament indeed has erupted. The sunspots out ahead of him explained how much trouble they were having with the Earth-facing solar quiet. He decided he'd avoid embarrassment and just leave the party a bit early. Earthquakes have surged to life about 24 hours later than we thought they would. We've got some can't-miss news and more. But let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com in the full Earth-facing half of the sun and 193 angstroms of light. While the erupting filament will not be coming anywhere near our planet, the longitudinal coupling began immediately for earthquakes, which we'll come back to, but it also ignited a chain reaction event that saw multiple small CMEs leave the sunspot groups out ahead of them. The bright active regions didn't produce anything special in terms of solar flares, surprise, surprise, but NASA is tracking one of the little sun burps as coming this way. Expected to impact Sunday or Monday, and expected to hit with a coronal hole stream also expected at that time. As of now, solar wind and Earth's magnetic shield are quiet and calm. When those streams arrive from the coronal hole impact should be a different story. Those coronal holes are now exiting the Earth-facing longitudes, but as they crossed, including the far southern opening down there, the quake watch peaked. Not just from coronal holes though, but from sunspots too, as our disaster app testing has a tremendous surge in watch score this week. Of course, this time the sunspot number short-term peak came right along with it. Vanuatu, yet another 7-pointer. This one rang as high as 7.3. But hours later, we also saw a rumble on the other side of the Pacific, a 6.6 .6 on the ocean ridge south of Mexico. This one rang in as high as 7.1. When we look retrospectively at the OLR anomalies, indeed we see the East Pacific negative, even though there's data missing there, positive and negative, in close proximity, right over Vanuatu as well. Top news today begins with Hitomi. You might remember the problems with the JAXA X-ray satellite. Well, rescue operations are now over. Bad commands to the software caused uncontrollable spin, and the device is lost. I was really looking forward to that one. NOAA's gone back and changed the official data on Snowstorm Jonas, which pounded the east this January. Turns out, it was the biggest snowstorm in the history of New York City. That was then. This is now. Tonight we'll have more severe weather in the central U.S. as lows drop a strong convergence on their eastern side once more. Hail, possibly tornadoes. Twin lows in northern Europe. These are going to be driving a warm-up compared to that previous look at Europe's cool-down, and of course, they've got all the water eyes open. Down under, the story remains much of the same. Antarctic lows reaching up to land as best they can. Rain bands follow the pressure convergences. Weather shares if you get a bad one. Something a bit different here. I've done hardline science shows in the past, others that let you go wild with speculation, special interests of every kind, including a bunch of different religious shows, but I had never done a Christian radio show before, which is actually kind of odd when you consider I even did an Arabic studies show two years ago. Anyway, you can find a really fun interview on our Facebook page. My personal one looks like this, but my daughter will literally steal your soul with her gaze, so follow the Mobile Observatory Project on Facebook if you're going to pick just one. And definitely make sure you get on our Twitter notifications. Until the disaster app is done, this is our first and number one emergency situation outreach platform. Links to those pages are found below this video on YouTube and over at suspiciousobservers.org, where feedback on the latest Deeper Look episode has been great. And of course, tomorrow we'll have another podcast of Fly on the Wall. We've got shots of our star to close. It's 4.25 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun, except it's raining. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.